The views expressed in the following program do not necessarily represent the views of this station or its management. Real People, Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Welcome back once again, Real People, Real Life. Good morning, good morning, good morning. America. We're still Kansas, America. America. And this show is going to be a little bit different from our usual format. We're not going to go into an intro like we normally would, so it's all of us as usual. But we won't want to get straight to our topic issue. Which uh, is? Which is Common Core. We have two experts with us today on the subject. You've got fast experience in Yes. Okay. So, Dr. Um, Chuck. Right. You're a fascinating man. I can already tell this. <laughs> okay. And then I have uh, Jennifer over here, right? Yes. And you used to be a teacher. No, 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 no. No, okay. I am now. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, backdate just for a little bit because, you know, there was a bill last year. I was familiar with that. Uh-huh. And I've seen some things in the headlines now. I personally do not like Common Core, but that's me. I'm on that boat. So you are, um, you're the wizard here. Oh dear. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. You're the wizard. Well, uh, certainly, Dr. Chapel, as a uh, nationally recognized expert on the subject, he spoke. That's why he's the wizard. He spoke out in California. He spoke in other places. A lot of Speak different. Speak to me now, because I do not understand Common Core. Who does? You're the expert, sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so, so I think this is a good point that Don tried to raise. For anybody who is listening who is not familiar with what Common Core is, I'm a parent and I'm not even clear. Can you tell us a little bit about where it came from and what it's replacing? And why it exists? <laughs> well, those are a lot of different questions. Let's start with the first one. How did it come about? It started actually under Bush as an effort to try to come up with the national standards. And that didn't happen. We had no child left behind. It wasn't working. So they said, all right, what are we going to do next? Well, there's a handful of people that have been pushing this in the federal bureaucracy for many decades, actually. Okay. So now we've got Bill Gates coming into the scene and Pearson Foundation. Right. And those two groups have put in over $200 million to try to make sure wow. that a common core across the whole of the United States. Every school, every teacher, every classroom is to teach the same standard at the same time of the week. Now, that doesn't work from a teacher's point of view, nor does it work from a student's point of view. But that was their effort. Now, they got two groups, the National Governors Association and the Chief School Officers. Right. Now, those groups are lobbying groups in Washington, and they got those two groups to kind of become their kind of bird dogs. They go out and say, all right, now to justify this, make it look like it's a state-led process. Right. You guys say it's coming from you, and actually what is happening is it's coming from us. Right. They had approximately 15 people worked in a group called Achieve Inc., which is a nonprofit in Washington, get together to try to write these standards. Only one of them had any actual experience in teaching, particularly at the grade school level. And so they come up with these standards Five actually wrote it, 15 were involved, and then they brought in two outside experts to say, all right, now what do you think of these reading standards? What do you think of the math standards? And neither one of them would sign off. They said, this is ridiculous. You're not advancing, you're not making them more rigorous, they're just different. And what that does is allow Pearson Publishing Companies Mm -hmm. from Grawl Hill. Make new books. Make new books. Make millions of dollars in profits on stepping books and software and tests ridiculous you know they're making it's a 16 billion dollar a year industry wow. so you follow the money yeah. and you see where common core came from i say how many times y'all and that do stands I say, for why it exists too yeah. follow the money Did follow the money follow, almost always whenever you want to get to the bottom that's of something, follow the money i've only said this for 20 forever years forever i know did it ever have anything to do though with Agenda 21 because when i was that's reading, what i was no. it really no, no, it didn't no. because we've had people on before that's a red herring I don't okay. see any relationship between those two at all. Okay. Other than it started both. at the same time. Not necessarily. No, yeah. Not at all. You're talking about Agenda 21 from what? 1992 Earth Summit? That was in Rio de Janeiro. Right. I remember that one. I Common Core is 2007. Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah. Actually, it got started in our states in 2009. Our commissioner, Alexa Posny, and our governor, Parkinson, signed a memorandum of understanding and said, okay, we're going to participate in the development of these standards. But we had no participation. We had no input. 
they went ahead and did it. They signed it without the State Board of Education. What? Well, how do you remember? Yeah. I was a member of the State Board, mm -hmm. and I remember that that ah. presentation by our, our commissioner. And she just said, "Oh, by the way." It was about a one sentence thing. We didn't know what Common Core was. How did that? How did that get passed, though? How did that get stuck like that? I mean, I mean well, it was something you guys called Race say? to the Top. Race to the Top was a, a four point two billion dollar uh, money carrot, carrot, carrot yeah. that Party Duncan had. It was um, the idea is okay. If you want a piece of that pie, you have to agree to Common Core. And to even have your application accepted, it had to say, we're going to use Common Core to teach our kids. Mm -hmm. We hadn't even seen the, the standards. Didn't know oh. what the standards were. Our staff oh. is going ahead and filling out this application. So in October the 12th of 2010, we finally vote on it as a board. It was seven to one. There's 10 members on the board. Only seven of them voted yes. I was the one that voted no. And we said, wait a minute, what is this? This isn't any better than what we currently have in Kansas. Right. Why are we doing this? Well, we have to have it on our application saying that the board approved it or they won't accept our application. Now, only two states in the whole nation actually got any money that first round of Race to the Top. Wow. In Kansas, of course, along with all the rest of them, didn't get a nickel. But wow. we did get Common Core. We signed right. that for <laughs> without even knowing yeah. what it was. So they bribed you, but so it was a lose lose. Got a bribe, but no money. Wow. Did it, now, did Oklahoma, at one point, I think they were, the governor there was going to say no to it? They got out last year. They did get out. Oh, they did. In I Missouri, thought. and you've got five states basically never did get to start. Virginia, in Texas, for example, right. Nebraska, Alaska. You have many states that are pulling back to say, this isn't helping our kids. Right. And we need to do that in Kansas. using parents. Well, oh, I, yeah. Well, yes, yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah. I can't help my second grader. With exactly. That. You can't even help your children no, anymore. We always think it's public schools and then no, public the school. the private schools. Private schools, yeah, too. Yeah. And then it makes the kids Jennifer, think. Our experiences with it with, yeah. the, with the Catholic school. Yeah, Jennifer, what, what, what were you seeing? Well, it started like every other parent. I had a child who I felt wasn't up to par with reading, and she was like 10, 11 years old at that point. I had had children in Catholic schools almost 20 years at that point. So I, I had already graduated some through. Um, and I said to the teachers, this kid can't read as well as she should, right? Oh no, these tests are saying that she can. And I said, well, something's wrong with your tests. And then I took her, I, I went in and I watched their tutoring because I was sending her to tutoring because I was concerned. And I watched them not teach her how to learn the material, but how to take the tests. Oh, it's not, it wasn't, I said, well, what is she learning? She was learning how to answer the questions, not the material. We're not robots. Right. And and that was my first, wait a minute, something's wrong yeah, with this. I mean, that's how I've always felt from day one. About was Common Core. Yeah, yeah. And they're yeah. dumbing my, us my down. My first thing was, we're not robots. <laughs> Right. And teachers aren't robots, and you can't right. expect them to sit there and be on the same standard the same week. And if they aren't, the principal can come in and say, "Well, why aren't you?" And I'm going to demer, you know, demer you, and, and it'll show up on your evaluation. Then they wanted to use the the tests at the end of the year, one test, to measure every teacher in the state of Kansas. Say, if the kids get a high score, fine, you're doing great. If they don't, then so. you must be a bad teacher. So we need to to reevaluate your contract. That's just totally ridiculous. That's the fall guy. Right. Um, yeah. Now there's a lot of pushback, isn't there, where an educator like you know, someone like yourself goes to the school board and talks about it, or when you go and talk about it to the bishop about this, there's a lot of pushback. Why? Well, there's a real need to conform in education. We have this attitude, I'm sure, in, in uh, you know, you, you've got to go along to get along. Or you, actually, as teachers, you have a contract every year. It can be renewed or not. So we are at the mercy of that principal and that school Man. Mm -hmm. and the curriculum director and the superintendent. If you don't go along with the program, you don't have a job next year. And that's what a lot of the teachers are afraid of. When I sat on the State Board of Education, I was appalled. I'd be going out to various meetings with teachers. They would give me their first name, maybe, but they wouldn't give me their last and they wouldn't tell me their school. They said, well, this is just an abomination. I don't know why I'm having to teach this Common Core, but I'm afraid to speak up. If I do, I'm likely to lose my job. Many of the good teachers in the Catholic school that taught my little children left last year because they were being told, you have to teach this way. We don't care. 
And to me, it seems to be 10 times worse in our schools, and I don't understand that, because we approached it as our schools on a score level, on a way that they do things, have always been better score-wise, you know, the way they teach, the time they take, what happens in the schools. So we said, why are we taking this up here and bringing it down here? I don't understand that. And again, they claim they don't get money, but you go and you look on the websites and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation has given stuff to our schools too, to um, the Chris Ray Foundation, to um, the DePaul Foundation. They're given all kinds of money because, and now they have to use the software. And the, the, the information they keep about the children. Because our when we fill out our stuff about our kids, I think we have to fill out more information. And um, I, I, it was unbelievable to me the, the amount of going backwards we were doing. And when I started asking questions, they said, this is what we're going to do. This is just the way it is. And if you don't like it, too bad. So eventually we were thrown out of the school. What? Yeah, my you children. You were given the bums rush, actually. Oh, yes. Hmm? Wow. So I had five kids. We have 11. I had five children in one school. And because I went to a meeting with Dr. Chapel to raise the, raise the awareness to the parents, to show them, look, this is what it's doing. This is what we're, our kids are learning. This is how we're going backwards. Um, we never even got a chance to present any of that information because they told us we had to be on the thing, so on the um, docket thing. The agenda. The agenda. Yeah. So then we said, okay, we'll wait until next time. That was it. Hang on, sweetie. i got to take never a quick break. Never got in again. We'll be right back. Mm-hmm. I know this is a big one. Sorry. We'll be right back. Real People, Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Alboro Cafe, like a vacation to Italy, with Wichita's best Italian dining. Open Monday to Saturday. Happy hour Monday to Thursday, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Enjoy our featured cocktails, lovely wines, and famous martinis. Alboro Cafe. Easy Pay Auto Sales, 2305 South Broadway. Our goal is to make your next auto buying experience nice and easy. We specialize in getting you the best prices with the most reasonable down payments. Bad credit, no credit, no worries. We keep it hassle-free and no crazy gimmicks. You can even call and make your payments over the phone with your credit or debit cards. Keeping it nice and easy for you at Easy Pay Auto Sales, 2305 South Broadway. Find us on Facebook. When you look good, you feel amazing. Let 2 Envy Me help you. Straight Wavy Curls Volume, our 100% virgin hair is the best in the world. The perfect professional business look, the perfect fun lady social look, the perfect beautiful night on the town. You can be all of those and more with real hair extensions from 2 Envy Me. 6160 East 21st Street North, Suite 220. Buy online with free shipping at 2envyme.com. You deserve to feel fantastic. Kiter Nursery Landscape Outlet, located at 6441 South Broadway, is your year-round growing headquarters. Every spring and fall, our greenhouses are full of the most beautiful flowers, trees, hanging baskets, and more, sure to add beauty for years to come. We are also a gardener's dream come true. From veggies to herbs, we have the best. Decorative planting pots and yard art, the most in one place. Smoking barbecue wood, the wood for your indoor and outdoor fireplaces. Kiter Nursery Landscape Outlet, come grow with us. Find us on Facebook, open seven days a week. Hammond Liquor, home of the coldest beer in town and the lowest prices store-wide. For all your special events, your friends at Hammond Liquor have what you need from beer, wines, spirits, champagne, and more. Open till 8 p.m. every Sunday, Hammond Liquor, West Kellogg and Tyler Road. Hi, I'm Colton with the King's Kids at Credit King. We're celebrating the 11th year here with my dad and me and all these fine people. Wow, I wasn't even born yet. I think it's really cool Credit King gives second and even third chances. Like Dad says, sometimes bad things happen to good people. He gets people with bad credit and super nice cars and trucks. Wow, I wish I could get a second chance on that math test. That's a great job today, son, and that's a no-go on that test. Welcome back once again, Real People, Real Life, we're still Kansas, America, and we still have our distinguished guests here, Jennifer and, and Dr. Chapel. 
the conversation we're having is on Common Core. And I'm sorry, I had to interrupt you a moment okay. ago. You have, was it 10 or 11 children? 11. 11 and... Five were in the same school. Uh, five were all in the same school. And go ahead and pick up. And um, after we were going to speak the meeting, we did not even get a chance to speak or say anything. Um, before the next meeting, we were told, you're no longer members of this parish, and you have to leave. What? And my children cried, their teachers cried, as they were taken out of the school. Another priest said, you can come to our school to finish out the year, and then we'll, and then he got sick, so we didn't go back. Mm -hmm. At that point, we had gone to the bishop, we presented our concerns. I brought 12 people from all different walks of life, Dr. Chapel, because he was the expert from the Board of Education from the beginning. I, dr I brought people from our church, not from our church, people who had children, people who didn't have children, and um, Michael Vorce, also from Church Militant. Mm -hmm. And um, we all met with the bishop. We, we gave him a stack of stuff this week and said, please, one of the most important things that I felt we had was this letter. This is from 156 scholars, college professors, and they said, the, the main body, this is Eight at Catholic pages. universities. Yeah, at Catholic universities. And the names on here, eight pages of names. And on the names, the names on here are very distinguished, from Janet Smith to Scott Hahn to all to, to a bunch of people like that, all professors. And the, the main body was, in fact, we are convinced that Common Core is so deeply flawed that it should not be adopted by Catholic schools, which have yet to approve it, and that those schools which have already endorsed it should seek an orderly withdrawal now. That was the main, and this goes into the moral reasons right. why it should not be in. It's more than math. It's more than science. The fact that us parents couldn't sit down, like you said, I had the same problems. It makes your children look at you like you don't know what you're talking about on a large <laughs> scale. Right. Yeah. And, and then, I, it does. And then they're like, Mom, this is second grade. Where? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. And, and how to add yeah. oranges. In, in our school, my first grader was made, this, this made me ballistic. This is why we didn't go back. My first grader was given an assignment from, because Common Core said that you had to teach about the President of the United States. Okay, fine. But what my child was given to read, and it had her name right up at the top, and the whole class had to read it together, was an article from Newsweek for Children. The very first line on the paper said, Obama's name means blessed in Swahili. And it goes on to explain how wonderful he is, how he served in the Senate. Now, my first grader comes home and says, Mom, I thought we didn't like Obama. Why did my teacher say that he was a saint and that he was Catholic? Because serve, in her mind, was mass. And I, I, was, uh, <laughs> yeah. I was like, sure you and I you caught this? That one. Yeah. In a first grade class, I went and asked the teacher, why did you do this? Why did you give this to my kid? This is, this is, it's one thing to teach, say, hey, Obama's the such and such president. Um, he's been president since whenever. Now let's move on. They could have done that and it would have been fine. But it's a brainwashing process, yep. an indoctrination. There's so much to that teaching them to get on the red train when they tell them to. Because why else would you sit a kid down at a table and say, take this two-step math problem and take 127 steps, literally, to, do to it. figure it out? Mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense. Other than programming them mm -hmm. to be how they want them to be, to That's listen without thing. asking questions. So the kids aren't actually getting smarter? In other words, no. now all this money. Math scores have gone down nationwide. It takes you an hour to do two plus two. Right. It really does. Well, it's like, it's and ridiculous. it can be five if you can explain how you how got to you five. Can. You yeah. still get half credit for you know a wrong what? answer. I've got papers from when I was in school that says it's not five. Right. <laughs> never right. change. Yeah. Yeah. Math, <laughs> is math and food. history do not change, even though they're trying to rewrite those. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah they are. What they're trying to do is teach people to not ask questions anymore. That's right. And that's so, so wrong. You, do you speak at area um, schools? In Kansas, so I've made quite a few presentations around the state of Kansas and Missouri okay. and California. Okay. Uh, we we have a, a, a national network of about 20 of us around the country who are professionals in the area of education who are working very hard to make sure legislators are informed, that parents understand the consequences, 
and that we can get rid of this common core. We've got to get back right to away. state control. We have a bill in Kansas uh, in Topeka now um, that is getting rid of common core. Um, it's House Bill 2292, uh -huh, right. and it was passed out of the uh, House Education Committee on um, the 28th of February. Right. So it's there in the House to be brought up by the Speaker, uh, hopefully as soon as possible. Okay. Man, we have got to get rid of it. Uh, are they listening to you? Have you been up there? Or? There are a lot of legislators <coughs> realizing that this has been a major, major mistake. And it's very costly. It's going to cost Kansas approximately $187 million over five years to implement. That we don't have. That we don't have. It takes money away from the classroom and the uh. teacher's salary. So I'd like to see more salaries going to teachers, for example, rather than the technology yeah. to technology. And new fill the pockets of uh, Bill Gates. Yeah. Right. And to take the test, you have to have a Windows 8 or above software program. Most of our schools had Windows XP seven. or 7. Right. So this touchscreen thing where you drag and drop stuff on the screen just to take the test, we're testing test-taking behavior as well as content knowledge. So the kids, if they get the wrong answer, we don't know why they got the wrong answer. First, did they understand the question? Second, could they manipulate the computer and the mouse? Right. And third, did they understand the, the question and give a right answer? Those are three separate issues. Mm -hmm. And we don't know. This is not a valid test or reliable. It does not tell us what they actually have been taught and learned. It's a tragic is, situation to work. It's yeah. affecting, for all of us, mm -hmm. uh, as taxpayers as and citizens, if we're turning out kids that aren't smarter, that are actually functionally dumb, how are we going to progress as a society? We're not. We're going to end up like the movie Idiocracy. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, we are. Yeah. We're going to have a trash avalanche at some point. Yeah, that's <laughs> pretty much. Because we're not going to know what to even do with our own... Isn't evolution a part of this whole package, too? Wasn't that part of the big deal? Yeah, that they were. The no. new science standards, though, aren't they totally, from an evolution standpoint, are they written yet? It was next generation science. Next generation science standards, yeah. Okay, and in those science standards, doesn't it say um, evolution is absolute? I don't think so. It says that we're talking about genetics, folks. Genetics have been known for hundreds of years. Mendelian genetics, you know, when you look at plant breeding or animal husbandry, all that is genetics. And so there's nothing unusual about evolution in that concept. But I know that our schools were wrestling over some part of that because I sat in with the with the superintendent and the and the um the one of the board people from the Catholic schools and they were going back and forth about we cannot accept the next generation science and I don't think it's in our schools. Well as a science teacher my background is biology and chemistry. All right. So I taught at high school level and also at the university level. And my concern is that it does not have comprehensive instruction of, of science. Okay. It only has approximately three areas of biology out of ten. It has a superficial description, description of physics and chemistry and so forth. You're supposed to be doing a lot of project-based instruction, which is great, but it's kind of like the blind leading the blind. If the kids don't know the facts to start with, they don't know how to get to the answer. Mm -hmm. So I have really strong concerns about that particular one, not because it's common core, but because of the way it's it's minimizing the amount of uh, instruction our kids really get to learn for engineering or technology or for medicine. For that matter. Now, it's my understanding they've taken science out of the schools now, the elementaries. Is that correct? Like they've no. taken no. Out what of they the have done schools? is put so much emphasis on reading and math to pass the test that the teachers don't have enough time for the science um, or for recess. Well, I mean, I mean, if you had to figure out Common Core, I wouldn't have much time for anything else. Right, and that's exactly yeah. what happens. You yeah. don't have time right. for anything else. Yeah. So and the that teachers goes back are really to the guy to teach those two subjects and nothing else. And so social studies are short street. Science, you don't get much time on it. Oh and God. it's not the teacher's fault. They're no, following the, the directions of their principal and, and the State Board of Education. But that's so flawed. That isn't the way to teach kids, particularly at the elementary level. It, it's like it's designed to make them feel like you're so stupid, I can't do it, that eventually by the time they they'll get... They'll give up. They'll give up. They'll quit. So that's what I've seen. Yeah. We've seen a lot of parents since this, you know, kind of came up, and we've been working on this back and forth for a couple years now, 
um, a lot of parents chose to do homeschool. That's what we're doing. Yeah. That's, That's all over more the nation. More. Exactly. That's all over the nation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it is, it's going across. It's not just because of the drugs in the schools or possible gun violence or, or any of that stuff. It really has to do oh, with the education that's being provided to our children. Isn't there an effort, though, to bring homeschool and there needs a lot more control by the federal yeah. government? There is. And there's money involved, right? To get yeah. The money to go to well, I mean, then it always the money involved. Well, and again, follow the money. Well, this is a very scary story. It really is, because now they're trying to get into your homes. Right, and and it's very scary for, because we were afraid of all the pushback that we got and the possibles of retaliation from leaving and then succeeding, because it would set a model for other parents. Right. Um, We went the extra step. And I actually hired someone who was thrown out of the Catholic schools for being too moral and not liking Common Core um, to, to, um, to tutor my children three yeah. days a week, check their tests, check their stuff, keep my books. Yeah. So if anybody comes knocking on my door, I can show them, huh, oh, wait a minute, uh-huh, because yeah. I'm waiting for that day. Oh, that's scary. That, that was smart know. on your part. So Very smart. Just and not I know your documentation. That's you right. Outside. Very Cause smart. Because I, I have five kids. That, no, six now because <coughs> one got old enough to go to school now. But six, all different levels of education. And I have one child that we have had to make big sacrifices with because she's in high school and she did not. She had a real hard time with homeschooling. So I found one school in all of Kansas that's a Catholic school that's not doing Common Core. And it's in Beloit, so it's two and a half hours from here. I had to break up my family. Make a choice. So that that child could succeed. Unbelievable. Yep. I know we got to take another hard break, um, but we will have it on our Facebook page and on our yes, website. Yes, all this information. Have to hold it to you. That's okay. Sure. Um, would it be best at your email? Just go ahead. Email. Go ahead and provide the email. I know this is a hot topic here in Kansas, and thank you both for coming on so much. I look forward to talking yes, to thank you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and thank wow. you. We'll be right back. Real People, Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Alboro Cafe, like a vacation to Italy, with Wichita's best Italian dining. Open Monday to Saturday. Happy hour Monday to Thursday, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Enjoy our featured cocktails, lovely wines, and famous martinis. Alboro Cafe. Easy Pay Auto Sales, 2305 South Broadway. Our goal is to make your next auto buying experience nice and easy. We specialize in getting you the best prices with the most reasonable down payments. Bad credit, no credit, no worries. We keep it hassle-free and no crazy gimmicks. You can even call and make your payments over the phone with your credit or debit cards. Keeping it nice and easy for you at Easy Pay Auto Sales, 2305 South Broadway. Find us on Facebook. When you look good, you feel amazing. Let 2 Envy Me help you. Straight Wavy Curls Volume, our 100% virgin hair is the best in the world. The perfect professional business look, the perfect fun lady social look, the perfect beautiful night on the town. You can be all of those and more with real hair extensions from 2 Envy Me. 6160 East 21st Street North, Suite 220. Buy online with free shipping at 2 You deserve to feel fantastic. Kiter Nursery Landscape Outlet, located at 6441 South Broadway, is your year-round growing headquarters. Every spring and fall, our greenhouses are full of the most beautiful flowers, trees, hanging baskets, and more, sure to add beauty for years to come. We are also a gardener's dream come true. From veggies to herbs, we have the best. Decorative planting pots and yard art, the most in one place. Smoking barbecue wood to wood for your indoor and outdoor fireplaces. Kiter Nursery Landscape Outlet, come grow with us. Find us on Facebook, open seven days a week. Hammond Liquor, home of the coldest beer in town and the lowest prices store-wide. For all your special events, your friends at Hammond Liquor have what you need from beer, wines, spirits, champagne, and more. Open till 8 p.m. every Sunday, Hammond Liquor, West Kellogg and Tyler Road. Credit King Auto Sales, Kansas' largest buy here, pay here auto dealer, is celebrating 11 years in Wichita. We're known for our super nice and largest inventory of cars, trucks, and SUVs to choose from. Did you know our service department is open to the public? Our trained staff can do it all when it comes to auto repairs. Since we're celebrating our 11-year anniversary, how about an $11 oil change super service deal for you? What are you waiting for? $11 oil changes going on now at Credit King at the King's Corner, 31st Street South and Broadway. GoCreditKing.com. See us on Facebook or call 524-KING. Filter and oil not included.
welcome back to Real People, Real Life, Wichita, Kansas, America. And like I said, we're here with Marty from The Ark, um, and he is with the YES program, which is summer camp. Uh, go ahead and tell us about it. Well, YES, as you saw in the video, stands for Youth Education Summer Socialization. Uh, what's really unique about it is that we're talking about it in Wichita, and it's the only place in the world you can talk about it. Uh, we are starting our 29th summer this year, wow. and it began because one parent asked a question, why can't kids with special needs have an all-day summer program where they learn in the morning and socialize and recreate in the afternoon? And we didn't have an answer for that, so we went and found some people. We asked the park department, we asked the school system, we asked all these different people, can we do this? And they said yes. And so we decided this 29 years ago. We started with 50 students, and now we're up to about 200 students total during the summer. They're ages uh, 5 to 22, and they run the gamut in all abilities and disabilities, but it's abilities we concentrate on during the summer. Right. Okay, so let me ask you a question about this program. How is it funded? It's funded through United Way, gives uh, dollars for scholarships. We're able to do a, about 100 scholarships through United Way, plus we go get scholarship money. Parents raise their own funds, pay for summer program as in any parent would if they had a kid in a summer school or a soccer program, they pay. Um, and then we also get some money from uh, grants and uh, HCBS, which is the county funding, that kind of thing. And, and Rainbows, and do you work with them? Uh, Rainbows has a different camp, but uh, we do about the same kind of thing. And then a lot of their students, when they get uh, more active, will come over to the uh, YES program because we're a program that we do stay in school in the morning, Monday through Thursday, for eight weeks. And then in the afternoons for eight weeks, we're all over town doing everything. And that's really And that's fun no lie, you that's guys. True. They do so much. Now, if somebody had a child with disability and wanted to find out about the program, how would they do that? Just call the ARC at 316-943-1191. We'll get you signed up, get you a packet. Um, like I said, we do offer scholarships, so sometimes it's easier to come in for a uh, scholarship, and, and we give a two-week scholarship because it's like a vacation, so we try and make it a two-week vacation for the kids. And then if they want extra weeks, we can talk about funding and that kind of thing. Okay, now do you have people donate? Is there, do you need help with you donations? You scholarships. Last year we were able to come up with 43 extra scholarships. Excellent. And that gave 43 of the other kids two weeks of vacation. Okay, so now somebody, if they wanted to help the YES program, how would they get a hold of you? Just again, call 316-943-1191. Um, anybody in the office can help them, um, and it's an experience your kids will never forget. It's true. And, and you guys don't just need monetary donations. You guys take water and help right. with food and stuff, because these kids in the middle of summer in Kansas are battling like 106 degree and weather. So they need some issues. I know, you know, the last year that my, my girls went, it was just stacks of water bottles, you know, the, and they need them. Right, about uh, 350 cases a summer is what yeah. we go through. Um, and it's so important because it is hot and we are going. We're not sitting still. Um, we asked the, about the third year, one of our teachers came and said, would you mind just doing a thesis? My master's thesis on this, which would be great. I said, what are you going to do it on? She said, I'm going to follow 20 of the kids and see how much they learn educationally during the summer and how much they learn socially. And so I said, that'd be great. So she did the whole summer that, and I was so excited to get the results. So we're sitting there, and she first announced that the kids didn't gain anything educationally during eight weeks. God, I was just heartbroken. She got a big smile on herself, but the exciting thing is they didn't lose anything. They didn't lose it. Ah, right. The time never heard, they haven't lost anything. Right. So the teachers were telling us when they went back to school, they were so much more advanced. Yeah. Socially, they gained 83% per right. person. Yeah. They had birthday parties they've never had before. They got opportunities. They rode horses. Yes. Uh, they all went to Frontier City in Oklahoma City. They spent uh, two days in Kansas City at the Great Wolf Lodge. And they yeah. went to a ball game. And they just get experience all these things. They had a hot air balloon tethered outside. And they'd go up and down. And uh, We had animals come in. And we had uh, uh, classic cars. And it's just uh, such an experience. And each week is a theme. So yes, you're, you're yeah, learning educationally in the morning, and then you're reinforcing it. And they said, well, do you have a lot of behaviors? You've got 140 kids a day, and do you have behaviors when you have field trips? No, we have a field trip every day. Yeah, every single day. And it's also cool because they do sleepovers, and some of these yeah. kids don't really have opportunities for sleepovers. 
you know, and so this, like you said, you know, social, well, it's amazing. And I think even more than the kids having the opportunity, parents, the parents, parents don't have oh. an opportunity when we have special needs kids to, we really to have don't. a night away. And the biggest aspect of the YES program, besides the fact that we're working with all these kids with special needs, is so many kids need something to do during the summer. Yes. And they need to volunteer. Mm -hmm. And we take volunteers right. as early as 14. Wow. And if you stay a couple of years at age 16, we hire you. And a lot of those kids are still with us mm -hmm. 22 years okay, later. Okay, let's say there's later. some 14 year olds out there that would like to become volunteers for the YES program. What do they need? What do they, is there, are there any prereqs they have to meet? Uh, just a desire to be creative, to have energy, and uh, you have to be energetic. You just have to do that because those kids are going to come to you oh, yeah. and they're, they're never going to forget you. And That's it's true. a commitment. And, and we find it funny, uh, we'll have a kid come and, and he's just a little nervous. He says, can I bring my friend tomorrow? Oh. And I said, no. And they said, well, how come? I said, because you'll spend your time with your friend. And until you develop friends with the kids that are around you, it doesn't count. And if they come back, they're great volunteers. Like I said, uh, we have about a 80% of all of our staff that have gone into the special education field because this is something that changes their life. It really does change your life when it's, when it's presented to you. You don't realize, you know, what you're willing to do or what it's going to bring out in you. And then you find out that there's this whole other side to yourself, you know. That's what my wife got into the field of working with special needs. And then our daughter was going through college got a summer job and she loved it so much that that's what she went into when she got out of college. She had a much different degree but she was so moved by helping others and by the response, the love that you experience and the personal growth that you experience is just you know, so unlike any other field of work. Absolutely. It's wonderful. I have to thank you though. You made my life a lot easier this last school year because the, the summer before Julius did not attend any sort of a summer program and to get him back into the mindset of going somewhere besides with me 24 7 you know back to school back to a set time back to getting up early that was such a challenge for us i mean it, it really was i literally got injured i got my rotary cut torn because of meltdowns and stuff and this last year i didn't experience any of that he was already in the the habit of being at Yes Camp at 7.30 and staying there until 4.30. So it, this was this year also presented a new obstacle. He was going to be going to school for the first time full day. Mm -hmm. He was already used to that from having so much fun at Yes Camp. And, and I think that a lot of people look at the opportunity to socialize as maybe second rate to education. Oh, no. And it has Not everything to do kids. for these folks. Because that's how they communicate that's with right. people. Yeah. You know, you ask these kids what they did during the summer and they're not going to say oh I went to school in the morning they're going to say oh I went to Great Wolf Lodge I yeah. rode roller coasters yeah. I did these experiences because uh, people gave me the opportunity um, and so many things can grow from this from 29 years now of this program the YES program has helped so much. We have a program in the schools now. Uh, the ARC started about 12 years ago called Circle of Friends. That's great. My daughter's been in that. Really? And, and, I have and, not and heard of this. That matches normal kids with special ed kids. As really? Mentors. Oh, yeah. And I say that because I'm not sure who's mentoring who. Yeah. Or which one's normal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and, which one happens. Yeah. and it's so great. And then from that, we started a Tri-County, which is three counties around here, have a basketball team. It's the only basketball program in the nation that matches South high against North High in the basketball game. Southeast right. plays East yeah. every week for eight weeks and uh, they're playing basketball. They're wearing their school jerseys, not special ed jerseys, but their school awesome. jerseys. They represent and the parents just cry because they never thought their kids would have this opportunity. Like and then we decided to try and do some home games at these schools and the last one I went to at Derby, they had 800 kids pay two dollars a piece, normal kids, wow. to watch the special wow. ed. And do you know what that does for that school? That means that every kid at that school knows that it's okay to be different. To be different. If you, if your abilities is what makes that difference. Mm -hmm. yeah. They don't remember that kid not being able to add. They just said, God, did you see that three he shot? Yeah. <laughs> right. And that's what they remember. But that's, that's awesome. That's so important. And that all started with this YES program with a bunch of young kids, 14, 15 year olds, who caught on to this and they come back. We have the greatest return rate. We have 92% of our staff wow. come back every summer. I, I don't doubt it. heard of. Yeah, I, absolutely. But, but, but if you've ever been part of the program, you will understand why that is because, I mean, it's an amazing program. It is. You know, my son, like I said, he attended last summer. He won 
the week, and like you said, every week has a different theme. He won the week, the So You Think You Can Dance theme. <laughs> and I'm telling you, he still shows that trophy and brags about it, and we're coming up on summer again. You know, and it, it's kind of amazing to me because things don't really stay with Julius like that, but this, I mean, it was just very impressive. And it's so important that we, we look at all the handicaps and things have changed so much over the years. You know, when we first started, we had one or two kids with autism. Now we have about a fourth of our program. And they say, how can you handle these kids? Yeah. How are you successful with them? And it's the exact opposite of what people think. They say kids with autism have to have a routine. Yeah, they do, but that routine can be a change routine. Yeah. And they get used to getting on that bus four times a day. And, and finding something doing, new. And doing something different. Then they go back to school. The teachers are concerned, wow, this is a different kid because he's used to routine change. And that's so important. It yeah. really did make a difference in Julius's uh, scholastic career. It really did. He, you know, he's more accept of, accepting of things not being exactly how he wants them and being able to see it you know it's just it was I was very impressed with the program and I just wanted to make sure anybody out there with a child of disability knows about it because I didn't know about it and it was brought to my attention and that's what we want to do because it it literally the social aspects of it okay so maybe they didn't gain anything educational wise but like I said they didn't lose anything summer I can't tell you how many times you know you find yourself going back to school like oh I can't remember this yeah. you know so well, and real quick, too, um, you guys don't just serve Wichita. You serve Butler County, and is there anybody else? Uh, Butler County, Sumner County. Okay. It's so important because USD 259 allows them to come in because yes. they have no choices. This is it. This is right. the opportunity, is it. so it's so important that we give that. And we're so grateful to the community because they say yes for 29 years, and you all know all the changes with the school districts and everything. This is the only program they haven't changed. That's amazing. Well, I want to thank you for coming thank and telling so everybody about the Yes yeah. Camp. Once again, the phone number is 316-943-1191. And that's it for us. See you later, Mom. Bye, Julius. Bye-bye. Real People, Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Alboro Cafe, like a vacation to Italy with Wichita's best Italian dining. Open Monday to Saturday. Happy hour Monday to Thursday, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Enjoy our featured cocktails, lovely wines, and famous martinis. Alboro Cafe. Easy Pay Auto Sales, 2305 South Broadway. Our goal is to make your next auto buying experience nice and easy. We specialize in getting you the best prices with the most reasonable down payments. Bad credit, no credit, no worries. We keep it hassle-free and no crazy gimmicks. You can even call and make your payments over the phone with your credit or debit cards. Keeping it nice and easy for you at Easy Pay Auto Sales, 2305 South Broadway. Find us on Facebook. When you look good, you feel amazing. Let 2 Envy Me help you. Straight Wavy Curls Volume, our 100% virgin hair is the best in the world. The perfect professional business look, the perfect fun lady social look, the perfect beautiful night on the town. You can be all of those and more with real hair extensions from 2 Envy Me. 6160 East 21st Street North, Suite 220. Buy online with free shipping at 2envyme.com. You deserve to feel fantastic. Kiter Nursery Landscape Outlet, located at 6441 South Broadway, is your year-round growing headquarters. Every spring and fall, our greenhouses are full of the most beautiful flowers, trees, hanging baskets, and more, sure to add beauty for years to come. We are also a gardener's dream come true. From veggies to herbs, we have the best. Decorative planting pots and yard art, the most in one place. Smoking barbecue wood to wood for your indoor and outdoor fireplaces. Kiter Nursery Landscape Outlet, come grow with us. Find us on Facebook, open seven days a week. Hammond Liquor, home of the coldest beer in town and the lowest prices store-wide. For all your special events, your friends at Hammond Liquor have what you need from beer, wines, spirits, champagne, and more. Open till 8 p.m. every Sunday, Hammond Liquor, West Kellogg and Tyler Road. Credit King Auto Sales, Kansas' largest buy here, pay here auto dealer, is celebrating 11 years right here in Wichita. Our way of saying thank you is giving you our $11 equal sign and drive. That's right, just $11. You are driving off happy half. Add credit, no credit, no problem. We don't judge anyone by their credit score. The King is celebrating. You're saving money. It's our 11 year anniversary with $11, and you are driving your next set of wheels. Credit King at the King's Corner, 31st Street South and Broadway. Check us out at GoCreditKing.com and on Facebook. Call us at 524 King. A sales tax subject to application approval. Here we go.
go. We're going to do this. Welcome back once again to Real People, Real Life, Wichita, Kansas. America! America! <laughs> okay. Now, who do we have? This lone lady yeah, over who is here. Who is the red man? This young lady. Okay, tell me, tell me. You're working on the whole... Introduce yourself to everybody here. My name is Loretta. Um, I'm a lyricist, a poet before anything. Write music, write scripts. And I'm working with... My instructor here on the Love Family and we're engineering for the project. So you are right here working on this at, at Mind Fire. Right? Yes. Are you in your student here too? Yes, I'm also. How student. cool, huh? Yeah. It's, so kinda, uh, it's a no pressure there. Just recording a soundtrack for the film and it's like that's, that's her class. Okay, you get in there on the board and don't mess it up, or you're, or it's, or it's going to be a B really? for you. Yeah. <laughs> well, what parts of it have you worked on so far? Uh, we've worked on from the bass, basically from only having acoustic guitar to um, having uh, R2, Rudy Love Jr. coming oh, yeah. in and slapping some um, some piano on there and making it something, yeah. you know, from something. Right, right. So um, it's amazing, we're, and we're also they're writing a song while we're actually engineering at the same time with Bob Love as well, so. Brother Bob, love him, any awesome. Yeah. It's pretty it's cool. cool. And then we had and Gerald, the, their other brother, come in here and put the drum track in there. And then that must be really exciting building. for you to get to do that so yeah. early in your career. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's a big like audio project. Audio. I like audio. Audio is your favorite. Yeah. yeah. I started off um, writing poetry. Yeah. Can I hear and one? I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, I'm tired of everyone degrading the all by the families. Seems that if there's carbon dioxide in the homes, they're hallucinating. Family and foes combined like a refrigerator with spoiled milk, but trying to refresh, but it's bacon without the soldier. So, I mean, it's small things. Actually, it's great because they also get to hear my music as an artist, too, really? rather than just sitting in front of a, you know, the mixing board and just doing it. Like that. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. So Rudy Love and, and Brother Bob and, and yep. little Rudy are like... Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Bob was kind of blown away the other day. Yeah. Right. Well, what she's girl. doing, oh, what Loretta's right. doing, um, not that she can't explain it herself, but what she's going in here and she's right cutting right. her own beats, and she's, she's getting her own beats, and then she's going and writing to it, and then going and recording herself right. <laughs> in there, because a lot of times she's taking advantage of this place, because you can come in right. at pretty much any time. And so she's putting down her lyrics, and then she's mixing it together, and then she's doubling them up, adding effects, all this stuff, and doing everything herself, like a one-man band. Well, and she's getting to do this because she's a student here. Yes. So shout out to Mindfire because... Hey, to the college cool. Mindfire. Awesome place on these terrace. Opportunities popping off left and right. And the, the facilities yeah. here are insane. We if are. you have the drive and ability to do what you want to do, I'd say why not share it and come out and let the people know exactly what you want to do. No kidding. Because there's no limits to life. That's right. You are awesome. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you are absolutely phenomenal. Hey, You're young and you get it. I learned from you guys. I learned from people. Oh. Right? <laughs> if I don't learn and step out and, and listen first, because I'm always going to be a student before a teacher. I can be a student while I'm a teacher. I can be a, st a teacher while I'm doing a student as well. I love that. So That's you're absolutely right. That's if, absolutely true. If you never, you know, express and expand, then you're, you can always be content. You're just going to sit there and, you know, become dust. Yeah, it's okay to be content as long as you still try to improve yourself and achieve greatness. Oh, yeah. I think you have to learn something new every day. Yeah. Period. Yeah. At least one new thing every day. Because if you don't, you're going to, you know, go, you know. You can't just sit here and think the same things mm -hmm. all the time. And something's going to happen somewhere along your life, and you go, oh, okay, I just changed my mind on that one. <laughs> I think life provides an opportunity to learn every single day in and of itself. So if you just pay attention, open your eyes, you'll, you'll How long have you day. been a student here? Um, only even half a year. I graduated business administration first okay. before I took on music because I can practice music with them going to school for music. Um, I graduated from National American University. Um, because I traveled back and forth from LA. I'm from Los Angeles right. too, as well as my home. So yeah, Allie girls, you know, shout out. He was really love, Junior, because mm -hmm. he plays a lot of there in LA. Mm -hmm. Did y'all kind of talk about that at all? Yeah. Um, interesting fact, because when I first started uh, here, I was like, wow, you know, see how the universe brought me back to you because when I was actually graduating high school, I sent my first track to him. Never got back with me. Really? Seriously. 
And now here you are working yeah. on their soundtrack. I bet he's going through all those <laughs> tracks that he's got in a bucket yeah. somewhere. Like, where is it? Yeah. <laughs> so it's amazing. I also got to give um, give a little part of lyrics of what I heard on their song that they was doing to put my input. So, so cool. It's pretty cool. It's a definitely great, amazing experience. I never knew that this was going to be one of our last classes of yeah. my time here. But now I'm like, okay, this is opening doors for me mm -hmm. at the end to where I can go ahead and further my career and whatever I want to do. That is so cool. And that guy's your... your John Rose. <laughs> the road is <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, take a bow. Oh, we're so fortunate to have this. It's just what I do. I mean, I can't I take a bow for that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just but what, I mean, it's that what teaching here at Mindfire is probably one of the cooler things when you think. You get the, you get the hands-on experience. When you're in a bigger class, it's kind of like, okay, well, I'll get with you later or... Um, explain it really fast and then move on. But my thing is if you're able to experience that hands-on and really get the explanation of what's going on. And do you hear that? What's going on? You're like, okay, I get rhythm. it now. Yeah. And then the music, you, you know, it's a little like, bit of music yeah. theory in there at times. But, I love it. Yeah. You know that his, his parents were teachers, school teachers that taught music. Well, Have you met his sister? No. Uh, no, she really don't. <laughs> oh, yeah. there, you'll have to go to... We don't know nobody but him. <laughs> well, you know when he went for that ugly like a ponytail to this dance at night? Ah, you can all that time experience it, but everyone's like, oh, you got your hair, you look great. I'm like, well, what was this long hair? <laughs> yeah, I was I like, well, my wife doesn't like it. I've been here every day all my life. Yeah, that's <laughs> funny. <laughs> you need to check out his sister, um, Gretchen, and uh, she's on our Facebook page. Okay. She was on one of the last shows that we You'll did. You'll be quite impressed. Oh, mm -hmm. man, this woman can sing. Oh, my God. She gets yeah. to sing with Matt Fleetwood. Nick Fleetwood. I mean, Nick Fleetwood. <laughs> I said Matt. <laughs> Nick Fleetwood. That's his second Matt. cousin. Yeah. He lives in, in Walla Walla. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Steven Tyler <laughs> and all kinds wow. of stuff. She lives in Miami. And so no? I'm not Miami. She lives in Malibu. Yeah, why, 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 why? I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. She lives in Hawaii. What's in that Red Bull? Yeah. 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 <laughs> what, I, what I actually want to do is um, to sit next to an artist and write a song with them while we're in the art. We're in the moment of the art within the music. So I don't want to be that person to where, like, you send me a beat or send me the music and you want me to write a song. I need to personally understand who you are and what exactly that you want to do with music because I can't I can only write from your experience my experience and feel you personally I can sit here and write a poem right now because of this experience right exactly now. Right. I want you to know? make sure that we have each other's number yeah are you um, going to start coming and being a sit-in here yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh why not oh yeah a friend of mine um, it, you know uh, he came in downtown when we were in Delano and uh Thank you, Orlando uh, Trotter from 2 Me. Um, Orlando brought me in, um, this gentleman one night, um, his name's Gino. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and Orlando was like, you got to check this out. You know, and I was like, all right, whatever. You know, and uh, this was back in, when we had Karma Connections, this store, kind of a hippie store. But anyway, um, we were in Delano. And so, you know, Orlando comes in and, and he goes, check this kid out, Robin. You're just not going to believe it. And I go, okay, what do you need? You know, he goes, just move the furniture back. I'm like, okay. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, Gino, uh, yeah, yeah, I think Rudy might have been there. Um, he was, that's right. Yeah. Love was there. And Gino just started singing. And I mean, I mean, every we all just went, oh my God, okay? I mean, this guy is so talented. Well, he went to Atlanta, and he got a million dollar yeah. record deal. Um, That's awesome. He said no. No. He said no. Depends on the contract and what they Depends on that contract. He's in he's in uh, Dallas and Houston right now, um, but he does come back into Wichita occasionally. Mm -hmm. You know, I'd love for you two to meet. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, because... I'm up for it. From Atlanta to Texas to L.A., I mean, you know, he has done a lot, you know, and he's got some great connections. You know what I'm talking about? Uh-huh. Okay. Well, so, it's always good to have those connections in yeah. the music industry because you never know. But, yeah. but, you know, it does happen. They get a contract, you know, and um, I, I've known bands that they get that contract, and they don't know it, but they, they oh, yeah, and it's sad. I mean, that's why I went to school for business first because girl. they were like, I will sign this, sign this. And I'm like, I don't understand the terminology. Right. And I don't know what you're talking about. So yeah. I was like, you know what? Forget this. I'll stay in in Kansas as long as possible to learn right. something about business. So now 
when I'm talking to people and they see that I'm coming with business first, they're like, you go hard. And so exactly. people are afraid, afraid of my drive because it only enhanced exactly what I want to do. Business only enhanced it. So now I'm like, <laughs> you know, elevating the music. It's, I'm coming, not even a triple threat. This is like... Ten people here. Well, okay. now that you know what you're doing in the studio, or as yeah. you get more experience, you'll be deadly mm -hmm. because then they can. Yeah. Yeah. This is awesome. It's only yeah. the wrong people that feel threatened by it. The yeah. right people are, are motivated by what you've learned and what you've done. Yeah. Today, so. How old are you? I'm only 24. I just started 24. Holy crap. When? Oh, yeah, right? When? Holy crap. January 24th. So my oh. golden birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. A little bit ago. <laughs> um, wow. So you just kind of walked in earlier and we were like, hey! Yeah, you are pretty. You are just a pretty sweet thing. Amazing. What a, what a great cool. Uh, thank you so much for the opportunity, and um, I would love to be back. Well, we'd hey. love to have you back. Yeah. You know where to find us. Well, she's yeah. usually in there on Monday, so if we need a sub, we'll she's just yell out the door and go sub. Sub. I really like this. We could be like <laughs> Team Thunder and Lightning. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. We're gonna take the break. Yeah. 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 We'll be right back. <laughs> Real People, Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Alboro Cafe, like a vacation to Italy, with Wichita's best Italian dining. Open Monday to Saturday. Happy hour Monday to Thursday, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Enjoy our featured cocktails, lovely wines, and famous martinis. Alboro Cafe. Easy Pay Auto Sales, 2305 South Broadway. Our goal is to make your next auto buying experience nice and easy. We specialize in getting you the best prices with the most reasonable down payments. Bad credit, no credit, no worries. We keep it hassle-free and no crazy gimmicks. You can even call and make your payments over the phone with your credit or debit cards. Keeping it nice and easy for you at Easy Pay Auto Sales, 2305 South Broadway. Find us on Facebook. Tune in every Monday at 7.30 a.m. for Real People Real Life as we cover current events and local happenings. Real Life Issues with special guests and spotlight local business and politics. If it's in Kansas, we cover it. Real People Real Life, Monday at 7.30 a.m. on My TV Wichita. When you look good, you feel amazing. Let 2 Envy Me help you. Straight Wavy Curls Volume, our 100% virgin hair is the best in the world. The perfect professional business look, the perfect fun lady social look, the perfect beautiful night on the town. You can be all of those and more with real hair extensions from 2 Envy Me. 6160 East 21st Street North, Suite 220. Buy online with free shipping at 2envyme.com. You deserve to feel fantastic. Kiter Nursery Landscape Outlet, located at 6441 South Broadway, is your year-round growing headquarters. Every spring and fall, our greenhouses are full of the most beautiful flowers, trees, hanging baskets, and more, sure to add beauty for years to come. We are also a gardener's dream come true. From veggies to herbs, we have the best. Decorative planting pots and yard art, the most in one place. Smoking barbecue wood to wood for your indoor and outdoor fireplaces. Kiter Nursery Landscape Outlet, come grow with us. Find us on Facebook, open seven days a week. Hammond Liquor, home of the coldest beer in town and the lowest prices store-wide. For all your special events, your friends at Hammond Liquor have what you need from beer, wines, spirits, champagne, and more. Open till 8 p.m. every Sunday, Hammond Liquor, West Kellogg and Tyler Road. Hi, I'm Colton with the King's Kids at Credit King. We're celebrating the 11th year here with my dad and me and all these fine people. Wow, I wasn't even born yet. I think it's really cool Credit King gives second and even third chances. Like Dad says, sometimes bad things happen to good people. He gets people with bad credit and super nice cars and trucks. Wow, I wish I could get a second chance on that math test. That's a great job today, son, and that's a no-go on that test. 